All right, everybody. So about a month ago, I uploaded a video called DBOG updated, but it's dot dot dot. Now that video was quite negative. Uh, it wasn't a great update. Like it was kind of uh, like it served its purpose for sure in getting the pre-order content out. But we have some good news. About a month later, we have some really good news. Uh, DBOG finally updated, but it's actually pretty good this time. Uh, there's very good news. There's very, very, very good news. Uh, to start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and read the patch notes and, and this update is called the start of something new update. So, I know that I was just shocked. I did a live stream when I got home from work uh, the day of the update. And I spoke to uh, Gray, one of the developers of DBOG, in that uh, I spoke to him for a while. And it honestly blew my mind some of the things that were said and that I heard from him. But th this is insane. This update was created by a change of team and owner change. So... First of all, Chang, if you're in the Discord server, Chang is the new game owner of DBOG, which is ridiculous, like, insane to think about that Sony isn't in charge anymore. Sony is still developing the game, he's just not the main owner, he's not the main guy in charge, he still has a lot of power, he still has a lot of what, you know, go set, uh, blah, blah. he has a lot of power, I just... Put it at that. So it's just uh, insane to see that Chang is in charge now. And and honestly, if this is this is his first uh, sign or, or, or his first uh, hurrah as owner, th this is going to be amazing. So this team that made this update, Gray told me five days ago, the ownership changed from Sony to Chang. Four days ago, they planned this update. And for the past three days, the update has been in works, and then it came out as of I'm filming this technically yesterday, um, on the 15th of September. And so th this is insane. Th it, this really is just insane. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute DBOG real quick. Absolutely insane though. Like that. Three days it took them of coding to get all this out, and I'm gonna go into what this is. Um, and I will have some little hints and sneak peeks later on in the video not sneak peeks but just some information about the next update coming that gray shared with me uh so let's go through these patch notes so again three days it took them and that they want this to be a sign of a bright future for updates they want this to be the new standard not you're not going to get an update every three days but the the meme of waiting two years for a dbog update is over it's never happening again according to gray so hopefully Things stay that way because that is going to be amazing. So what is new in this update? Well, there's updated visual graphics. So one thing Gray talked about was the lighting. So as you can see here, oh, I got some some uh, spectators. Uh, the lighting is much different now. And you can really tell that the um, another thing that he's he spoke about the terrain is different. I think he means this. I don't know if this specifically is different, but this looks good. If that is new, I think it's new. He said a lot of rocks look different now. You know, stuff like that, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume back on. Hopefully no one's going grade 8. Um, yeah, you could just tell. Like, look at the lighting, man. The, it looks incredible. Like, the game just looks beautiful now. I hope this guy doesn't start jumping me. Um. So, yeah, it, it just amazing. There's a new base aura. I don't know if that... I don't think this is talked about. So, this is just a visual thing, really. But this aura looks great, by the way absolutely it looks fantastic in my opinion it's just wonderful uh re-added legend quests so legend quests i guess they were removed for a while and now they're back um so for this week um temporarily the wait time between attempting a legend quest is usually 12 hours it's now six hours so that's good and then the t uh, chance of getting the legend form is temporarily 10% instead of 5%. So that's good. So now is the time to get your legend forms if you don't have them. Speaking of legend forms, 
as you can see, I have Legendary Super Saiyan, which is the previous legend form for Saiyans. I'm pressing 4, nothing is happening. I don't technically have Legendary Super Saiyan. It is disabled. If I go here, Transformations, it's not there anymore. Basically, Legendary Super Saiyan got replaced with a new legend form. I'll put a screenshot of it up on the screen. Um... Pretty much, it's a, like, Sun Wukong type inspiration form. It's, if you've seen the, uh, a Dragon Ball Tale video, like, short, like, animation that, like, fan animation on YouTube, it's inspir inspired from that, which is amazing. It, it looks great. Uh, wonderful video. Go check that out. Uh, you do have to re-earn the Saiyan Legend quest because they tried to just replace the form and people's data started getting erased, like, testers' data started getting erased. So, they didn't want to do that. So, you're going to have to re-earn the form, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, added the ability to view what race your slot is in the main menu. Uh, I can show that real quick. One second. Alright, so here I am in the main menu of DBAG, as we can all see. And once it loads, you're going to see I click load game. And it tells you what race you have here. So that is amazing. Um, absolutely phenomenal update. Um, <laughs> I've been asking this forever. Uh, this is awesome. So now I can actually see all these races that I have. And I just like... Oh, amazing. Amazing. Uh, join server. So, with that... There is a main menu button to the travel menu, which is good. Uh, I didn't even press it. I just left the game and came back, but I can show that real quick once I load in. There's a uh, main menu button to the travel menu. Right here. Perfect. Uh, new bio android ability. So, I'm going to go in depth on these abilities once I perfectly understand them. I kind of know what they are. I, I talked with Gray a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make a video, so if you don't want to wait for the video, and you don't want to hear my take on everything and, and me talking about it, uh, that's fine. You can just load in and, like, make a Bojack, or uh, what is it? It's Bio Android, Tuffle, and Bojack all have new abilities. So if you want to go see them before my video, uh, go ahead and you can go see them in-game for yourself. I'm not going to get into it, but again, Bio, Android, Tuffle, and Bojack all have new abilities. I do want to mention, Kai's and Demons do not have abilities right now. They are disabled because they are working on a weapon type update. And their abilities have to do with weapons in some fashion, is my understanding. Uh, Gray told me that on the live stream. So, uh, in addition to that, there's a new sword fighting animation. Some swords are missing from your inventory. You still have them. They're just invisible and you can't use them and they will return in the next update. So again, the next update is the sort of, um, there's going to be part of it is going to be with weapons. And so therefore when they finish that certain swords are going to be re-added the abilities for demons and kais are going to be changed. Uh, so on and so forth. Implemented new cutscene camera compatibility. You will notice this with a few forms like Super Saiyan 2 and 3. I don't know what all forms have it. I know all forms don't have it. But I don't know what all forms do have it. So as you see, I go Super Saiyan. Doesn't have it. If I go Super Saiyan 2, if I hold down the button... Wow, that's loud. But you can see the cutscene plays as I go Super Saiyan 2. And it's the same with 3. And I want to point out, I did like out early. Uh, I don't have time to be watching all that. Uh, I do want to show, if you just do it, it does do a little cutscene still. If you just insta-form. Like that. Looks amazing. Uh, added some new accessories. I actually, I have no idea what new accessories there are. Let's, let me go see if I can find them. 
All right, here I am at the accessory merchant. I don't know what all would be new. Because I definitely don't have... I never had everything. So I couldn't tell you what's new. I can, however, scroll through these. And maybe I'll click on some of the interesting sounding ones. That looks cool. Um, again, I can't confirm which ones specifically are new. There are new accessories, so if you're someone who's bought every accessory, you can go through and see. Maybe someone comments it, and I'll make a pinned comment. But, uh... Sun Wukong's hood cover, that might be new, considering the new form, maybe. There's a scythe weapon, spike bat weapon, dagger weapon. Bat aura? There's no preview. For some of these, there's no preview, really. So these seem to be Halloween stuff. Okay. Um, again, I'm sorry I don't have the information at this time. I sh should have asked Gray, but I didn't even see that there is new accessories. Um, hopefully, someone in the comments will know. Uh, that is it for the new stuff. Let's go ahead and look at changes now. So there were some changes to the game. Let's go ahead and look. So most races... Had their base outputs improved slash changed. So what that means is if... This isn't a great example really because mine is changed because of wishes. There's wishes that you can do to get an increase in a... I believe it's like a random stat. Um. So unfortunately mine aren't like the default. But if you look at the bottom right there. You can see my race like allocation for my stats. So, the point is that, by default, if you don't have the, like, wish that changes them, it should add up to 5. Now, some races, it actually added up to more than 5, and some actually added up to even less than 5. Now, they all add up to 5. All They want to make all races on an even playing field, and so this is a good step forward to that. Uh, I also do want to mention that Every legend form is now a 3.25 times boost, which is 0.25 times more than the Super Saiyan 3 level form. Uh, across all races, of course. And so now, for example, the human form was max power Roshi type thing. That's the human legend form. It's now a 3.25 times multiplier before it was weaker. So now all races have the same highest multiplier multiplier form. And they all have a total of 5 by default uh, stat allocation. Um, stat output, as uh, DBOG calls it. So, I again, I'm going to go through a video. The same video where I'm going to talk about the new abilities. I'm going to talk about basically every race change that was implemented in this update. I'm going to go through and tell you exactly what was changed. What races are better. What races might be a little worse. Uh, Etc. <laughs> Um, so look forward to that. Improved lag due to clipping messy parts on several maps. So, improved lag. Uh, they redid the day-night cycle system. I don't know exactly how they redid it, but they redid it, and that's cool. Increases, or increase amount given and reduced Robux cost for the Zenny Game Pass transaction. That, I actually, uh, wanna, I don't know how much it was before. So, it's this. You can straight up buy Zenny. How much is 100k? Is it gonna work? I cannot buy it. Okay. I will... <laughs> okay. What if I click on lease? Yeah, you already... Okay, so the Zenny... Buying Zenny just doesn't work right now. Unfortunate. Uh, Shenron Zenny now gives 100k Zenny. So, Shenron's Zenny wish... Now it gives 100k Zenny. I believe that's a nerf. I don't think it gave that much before. HTC now costs 200k to go in. Gravity Chamber now costs 50k to go in. Dragon Radar 30 meters now costs 10k Zenny. I genuinely... I'm getting jumped. I'm gonna mute sound. How do I... Where's the sound? Thanks, Robux. Uh, okay. Um, 
Yeah. So that, I, I genuinely, I couldn't tell you if those are buffs or nerfs, uh, but that's just how it is now. Um, and then we go to bug fixes. Aura is now properly scale. So for example, in Great Ape, your aura would be tiny. Now your aura matches the size of your character. Android charge rate fixed from going empty to max in two seconds to now taking six seconds. So Android's charge rate um, was bugged before and now it is fixed. Fix the burger fighting style. Um, I don't know what was wrong with it before, but it's fixed now. I think the animations were bugged. Fixed key charge rate. Key charge rate was previously about two seconds by a glitch. It is now back to the original amount of eight seconds from empty to max. Okay. Fixed ultimate charge rate. So ult charge rate was previously about two seconds by a glitch. It is now back to the original amount of eight seconds from empty to max. Frost demon's ability was fixed. So that's their charging ability was fixed. Human's ability was fixed. I forgot what human's ability was, but it's fixed now. Fixed a memory leak where the light, light, lighting. I was, I was trying to see if it said lightning or lighting. I just like, I, my brain wasn't registering which one it said. And so I just thought, <laughs> such a moron. Uh, fix a memory leak where the lighting would double upon death. Interesting. Fix an issue regarding stat gaining being inconsistent with output given i don't know what that means i'm not very smart uh and then some other bug fixes um new abilities now show properly in the character creation fix some issues regarding the quest inside of the legend quest you know just some uh patch notes there uh dragon balls in space are now fixed and they have new spawns as well so Unfortunately, my video is probably null now. I don't know if they removed the spawns or just have new ones. But, I don't know. And that that seems to be about it for this update. That's a, it's a very, you can look at it in two different ways. You can, you can look at it like this is a pretty small update, but it's like a good thing still. Or you could look at it as like, this is huge. And I'm, I for one, I'm looking at this as like, this is an enormous thing because it's not just about the update. Like, yes, this update was good. This was a good update. Bunch of bug fixes, bunch of good changes, a bunch of new stuff. Um, I, this is a positive thing and DBOG may never have been as back as it is now. So bravo team everybody give a round of applause i know only took them four years to get things together but hey we're here now i may have had 17 children in between now and then but we're here now and that's all that matters um thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it i'm very excited uh dbog is back let's go we're so back again it's the constant it's the constant cycle Suffering builds character, suffering builds character, suffering builds character, suffering builds character with DBOG. It, it really is, but it, it's also a constant cycle of we're so back, game is dead, we're so back, game is dead. <laughs> but, but right now we're so back and that's all that matters.